Seema Modi is here with the story on all of these angles for us today and the standouts. And Pain Capital Management's Courtney Garcia joins us with her picks as we move through each one. Welcome to you both. Seema, let's start with travel. What, what can you tell us? Well, Kelly, the weaker euro is widely seen as a net positive for travel. It gives Americans purchasing power, incentivizes them to travel overseas. In fact, data from Hopper shows trips to Europe have increased by 9% over the last month. In terms of beneficiaries, uh, Truist analyst Patrick Scholl says Marriott high on the list with 15% of earnings generated in Europe with an online travel booking holdings with its Priceline brand, which is heavily geared to the European audience. And then within cruise lines, it's Carnival, a uh, high exposure to Europe. The challenge there is the broader effect of the Ukraine war on Europe. The cruise lines have yet to bring back all their ships to the broader region and that stock bouncing today, but has been under a bit of selling pressure over the last week after Morgan Stanley came out with that note. Analyst Jamie Rollo really laying out an extreme bear case scenario. All right. So those are some of the biggest beneficiaries potentially. And again, we are seeing some positive trades today. Courtney, where would you guide investors in this space? Yeah, of the, those you mentioned, actually, I think booking can be really interesting here. Um, travel in general, I think we're really seeing that demand is not slowing down, even with inflation picking up. And what's happening with the dollar and the euro is only going to stand to benefit. What I really like about booking is they actually do get a lot of their revenue from Europe, where they have a really good stake in that um, in that market. I don't think that's going away in the near future. But also, they're starting to get more into the Chinese market, which just long term is a great beneficiary with the demographic they have and the population they have. But short term is they're starting to open up from their COVID restrictions. That increased demand that they're going to see only stands to happen exactly what happened in the U.S. And so booking will be a great beneficiary of that. All right. Booking gets the vote of confidence. Let's move along to some of the names that could take a hit, like the multinational consumer staples plays with big overseas exposure. Seema, who is most exposed here? Well, that's exactly right, Kelly. It's the global consumer brands that have diversified their footprint. They've made investing overseas a big priority. So names like Philip Morris, Mondelez, uh, both with a significant exposure in Europe. RBC Capital analyst Nick Modi says both of these names could potentially be hit by a weaker euro. Another name that came up in the discussion is eBay um, in the consumer discretionary space with about 30 percent of sales accounted for in Europe. That's uh, according to Goldman Sachs, which put together, David Costin over there, put together this really great analysis of the revenue breakdown per geography and eBay, as he points out in his note, uh, with 30 percent of sales in Europe. That is higher than I would have expected. Philip Morris with 50 percent. Right. Courtney, where would you have people stay away from or are there any ways to kind of invest in the, on the long side here? Yeah, I think specifically and when you're mentioning these names, eBay, I would definitely proceed with a little bit of caution here because um, one other thing that's happening right now, which we've talked a little bit about, is inflation's kicking in. The consumer is spending their shift from goods to services, but not even just goods to services. eBay is really in that a space where it's you're looking at collectibles and kind of um, unique items where and that's going to be the first place that people are not spending from as we have inflation and a slowing down economy. So I would proceed with some caution there for sure. Okay, so more of a sort of stay away play.